Hey, you're watching Trucker Josh Vlogs on TJV with Diesel. Enjoy the show. everybody we're back on the road here we're in Grand Forks North Dakota got a little bit of a head start yesterday and it was cold you had one driver here off to the right not this uh, guy with the harvester whatever kind of harvester that is that's interesting it's a unique one rotary harvester huh this guy on the right there you see him getting towed away he looks like he froze up overnight don't forget to put additives into your fuel when it gets down to close to minus 30 or below. Below minus 25, below minus 20 to minus 25, anywhere below there, I add in the power service, the white jug, the big jug, half a jug in each tank. And since I've done that, I've never froze up once. Also, make sure you park at night with your fuel tanks completely full, if at all possible. Never park with uh, low fuel. You freeze up easier that way. Your fuel will turn to gel, it'll plug up your fuel filter, your truck will shut off, and you'll freeze. Always make sure you park in places where there's 24 hour access to a warm shelter, like a truck stop or a rest area, so that if your truck does shut down, you have somewhere to keep warm. So always remember, I'm talking Celsius here, but uh, when it gets really cold like that, down around minus 30, even in Fahrenheit, power service. Don't use the house. House fuel uh, fuel conditioner is only good down to minus 20. Up here, Western Canada and the north of the United States, it gets colder than minus 20. House will not be good enough. Power service is good down to minus 40. Always make sure you protect yourself from getting frozen up because that's happened to me before. I got very lucky, but I wasn't expecting it and I had to learn the hard way. Now, several years ago already. I'm sure some of you remember that. Chamberlain, Saskatchewan. Minus 63 that night. Kilometers. Yeah, and if it's that cold at night, don't drive into the night because there's very few places that will, well, fewer places that will be open where you can go and warm up and fewer people that can come and help you in the middle of the night and it's a lot colder. You'll freeze to death very quickly. If it's minus 50 outside with the wind chill even and your truck shuts down, it won't take long and your whole cab will be freezing. Always have a plan.
Well, I think it's time. Karen. Yes, they, they know you're there. I think it's time for coffee numero dos. Numero do. We're here in St. Cloud, Minnesota. We still have uh, six hours of driving to do today yet, approximately. Maybe I can do it in five and a half. It's 562 kilometers. So that's what, 320 miles or so? I don't know, that's a rough guess. As soon as this guy decides that he wants to go for it, Give her, bud. Come on. No, no, don't give her. Don't give her. Don't do it. Don't do it. No. Change my mind. How about now? Oh, this is a hard intersection to get across here. I'm just going to the Pilot Flying J here. Don't need to grab fuel. Just coffee. See if I can get across here now. This is an intersection where uh, lights would help a lot. Busy right now. Oh, it's rush hour. That's why everyone's going home. Make a U-turn if possible, and then take the entrance to the right at 150 meters. Oh, it's possible, Karen. I'm gonna do a U-turn in the pilot parking lot. How about that? Just off on our right. Now there's the pilot sign on the same sign as the McDonald's. I wonder if they own the McDonald's also, because they're sharing a sign. I know there's truck meters, parking there. Make a U-turn if possible. It's I just told you it's possible. We first we gotta go this way. This parking lot is always jam packed. I don't like stopping here. It's just way too many people all trying to get fuel. The parking lot's pretty small. Uh, parking lots are pretty tight. I wouldn't want to park here because I don't trust people not to back into me. Let's see this in a minute here. 100 meters. Turn left on Clearwater Road. I was really hoping that it wasn't going to be a big lineup. I just wanted to quickly park in front of the pumps and go grab a coffee. I don't know where I'm going to park now. I just want a coffee. That's all I want. I don't want anything else. Okay, maybe a, a Milky Way bar because that's what they call Mars bars in the U.S. I learned that from you guys. A Mars bar is a Milky Way in the U.S. They're my favorite bars. Park over here? No, I'd be in the way. I don't want to be in the way. Where can I park? You know, yeah, I think I'm just going to park right here beside the scale temper. I just want to run in and grab coffee. You think this is a bad spot to park just for like two minutes? It won't even be five minutes. I'm going to park right here. This is like a coffee parking spot, right? Can't move forward anyway because that guy's jammed up there, so. I can pee. still get around me. Coffee time! All right, so it was six minutes, whatever. They're still all messed up over there anyway. Everything's blocked off, so I couldn't get anywhere anyway. Got coffee and uh, spits. I like the seasoned sunflower seeds the best, but for some reason in the US, you guys don't carry the seasoned flavor that much. So cracked pepper is my next favorite. Keeps my hands busy when I don't eat as much. I don't snack as much. All right, well. Oh, dude, you're not gonna make it this way. What are you doing? What are you doing? I was just getting ready to roll forward and this guy has other plans. What are you doing? Okay, yeah, I didn't think you could get out that way. There's a snow bank there. That guy's backing up, that guy's backing up. What is going on here? Are they gonna hit each other? Look at this. Look at this. Where is he going? The pumps are over there. Oh, I see you are trying to come around this way. I'm gonna have to move back for you. What are you doing? That's the entrance, my friend. Okay, alright, hey, you wanna go at the entrance? Alright, let's see what's going on over here. What's with all this kerfluffle going on here? What's going on here? No, oh, dude, dude, you can't come this way. I am, I'm here. Yeah, you see, this is this way. What are you people doing? What on God's green earth is going on? What in tarnation? What in the Allison chains? 
what? Now, where are you going, bud? Why is everybody acting like they've never driven a truck before? What's going on? Okay, okay. You just keep rolling there, bud. You keep going towards the exit, and I'll follow you. How about that? I don't get paid by the hour, though, so don't take all day. Come on. Come on now. Don't be scared. All right. What a mess. This is what I mean. I don't like stopping here. But I wanted a coffee. <laughs> it was a dilemma. And the coffee won out. Got myself some spits while I was at it. Some Knoxo. Sunflower seeds. It's good that he's not ripping through the parking lot, you know? He's going a good good pace. You don't want to go too fast. Cause then you cause then I start calling him a NASCAR driver. Nobody wants to be a NASCAR driver when you're a truck driver. Not in the truck stop parking lot anyway. But at the same time, I mean I don't want to get passed by a snail. What about a turtle's pace here? You didn't stop. So you don't want to go very fast, but you also don't want to stop. I understand. I understand. Uh, there we go. Try to get back on the highway here without ripping anyone's head off. Got my lights on. It's getting dark fast, man. It's only 4.30 in the afternoon right now. Meters, turn right on. 43rd Street South and then turn left in 180 meters. Like yesterday when I was getting ready, I finally got my truck going at this time. Yesterday, exactly 24 hours ago, right? So 4.30, I got out there. I got all excited. I started the truck. I came inside. I let the truck warm up for about a half hour. 5 o'clock, I went outside. Pitch black. <laughs> Tis the time of year for darkness. That's why we light our house up with all those Christmas lights, right? Because it sort of eases the depression of being, you know, without the sun for so long. Oh, that guy's driving here with his high beams on. Oh, dude, the guy's flashing you already. Turn your high beams off, man. That big blue light on your dashboard? Yeah, that means you're blinding everybody on the road. I'm glad you can see because no one else can. Oh, what a what a kerfluffle. What a mess. What a mess. This guy's coming out the small car exit. Line up for the pumps. Turn left on the Great River Road, CR7. The Great River Road, you don't say? I didn't even know there was a river here. Apparently it's great. It's the great river. It's not just any great river. Thanks, Karen. Learn me something. All right there, bud. It's the pedal on the right, the right one. It's the go-go pedal. You got it, you got it. All right. I catching up to you? I'm pulling up behind you with like 45,000 pounds. The entrance to the right on I-94 East. Some guys, they sure do like to take their time. Like, I'm not advocating for you guys to rush or for anyone to rush. I know I'm not really talking about you guys anyway. You guys all know the drivers out there, the truck drivers that are just, you know, just feathering the pedal, trying to save every tiny little penny. Take the entrance to the right on I-94 East. And then, you know, they start braking like five miles in advance. Man, you're a noisy woman. Come on, Karen, let me talk. Quit talking over me. I was talking about how some drivers are just like, you know, never in a rush, just slow and steady. There's, there's like safety and things to worry about, but sometimes they go so slow and start slowing down so far in advance that they're actually more of a hazard on the road. Because no one knows why they're slowing down. No one knows you're turning in five miles, right? <laughs> but whatever. I think I'm stretching, trying to find things to complain about today. 
continue on this road for 73 kilometers. Excuse me. There we go. And here we go. Look at it, it's almost dark already again. Between 4.30 and 5 o'clock, it just, it's like someone turns a light switch off. Just boom, dark. We're not even to the shortest day of the year yet. Like, the shortest day of the year is December 21st. That's the winter solstice. But some good news is shortly we will be getting longer daylight hours again. Minneapolis. We're on the I-494, around on the south side already, about to turn down I-35. Nice signal, buddy. Nice. Perfectly executed. So glad you were able to move your finger that half inch to signal to everyone what you were doing. What's this guy doing here? Well, he can't turn into me. This guy right here is determined to get in front of me, but he's right beside me. Oh, no signal again. Okay, but this guy's using his signal, so I'm gonna let him in. Good use of the signaler devices. Oh, he used it too, but oh, that was a kerfluffle. Oh boy. Oh, oh, he's still going for it. He's still pushing him over. You're gonna hit him. Dude. You all want to be in front of the semi truck that badly, eh? That guy went around from behind me, passed me in the merge lane and tried to get in front of me, but this car was going <laughs> in its way. All these guys, they want to be in front of me so badly. And I understand it. When I'm in my personal vehicle, I hate being behind a truck too. So I try to give, give them, cut them some slack because I'm the same way. But some people, they, they just take it a little too far. They take a little, make it a little too dangerous. I mean, sure, I, I know you want to be in front of me. I know. Just do it safely. That's all I ask. No need to cut me off. No need to wave all kinds of fingers at me. It's not my fault for existing in this place and time. Somebody in Iowa needs Canadian lumber. I'm just bringing it to them. And then somebody in Alberta needs some Missouri steel. That's my next load. I'm gonna pick up steel in Missouri, bring it to Alberta. And then I don't know yet, I'll probably end up picking up lumber again in Alberta. I'm trying to keep busy until uh, the weekend before Christmas. I want to be home on the 20th, and then I'm home for, well, till the 27th. But, uh, we'll see what happens. I've never missed a Christmas yet. That is the one time a year when I'm going to be home. I will raise a stink. If there's even the slight possibility that I might not be home for Christmas, that is not acceptable. I will be home for Christmas. I'll miss other holidays. I like to be home for Easter too, but Easter is like number two. Christmas is number one. And Thanksgiving, I like to be home for Thanksgiving too. So Christmas, Easter, Thanksgiving, that's, you know, with Christmas being the most important. But those are three times a year when I want to be at home. There's only three times a year, three times. I'll miss my own birthday. I've missed my wife's birthday, I think, every time since... <laughs> I usually celebrate with her on another day. I uh, really want to be there for her birthday, actually, but... I mean, if I had to choose my top three days to be home, it would be Christmas, Easter, Thanksgiving. That, that... Those are days for family. There's nothing more important than family. supposed to turn here somewhere? Look at that big colorful building over there on the left, eh? Fancy. Very fancy. I better close this gap a little bit so that people behind me don't get any funny ideas. Oh, well, here comes somebody with all kinds of ideas already. You're gonna cut in front of me, aren't you? Aren't you? No? That's surprising. I thought for sure they were gonna cut in here. Look at that building all lit up. Wow, oh, it's changing color too. Whoa, very fancy. So this is an exit only lane on the right. This is about the time when people start realizing, oh, this is not the lane I wanna be in. Even though, you know, they've ignored the past five signs, they finally realize, oh, I need to get into this lane that is in a gridlock. Let's stop all traffic and demand someone let us in now instead of getting, you know, at the back of the line. That's usually what happens, right? 
guy's driving with his light bar on in the city in traffic. Dude. Once again, I'm, I'm very happy that you can see where you're going down these city streets. The rest of us can't see. That hurt my eyes in my mirror. Wow. I got purple spots. If you wanted to exit, why weren't you in the exit lane to begin with, my friend? Now you decide you want to exit. Good luck. Okay, after this one. Go, 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 go! Go! Oh, you waited too long. You're cutting them off now. Ah! Should have gone when I told you. You know, sometimes I wonder if they're just like a... You see it all the time. They'll cut into that. They know that lane's ending, right? But they'll leave this lane. They'll cut into the lane that they know is ending to try to get as far in front of all of these cars in this lane as possible and then cut back in, into this lane further down the line. You see it all the time. I see what you're doing there. I see what you're doing and I do not approve. Trucker Josh does not give you the stamp of approval. That is a very selfish, very... Oh, man, it's so hard to talk about these things using good language. Ugh. So I guess we just won't say anything at all. How about that? This is actually not bad. Not bad. Minneapolis has got pretty nice people. You're nice drivers. I remember being down in Nashville. What was it, last week? Two weeks ago? Yeah, I remember you guys get a little aggressive down there. At least maybe I was, I was just in an, an aggressive, in an aggressive bunch of vehicles. But whoo! Man, those people. Those people down there, they, they have a mission to get somewhere and you better not get in their way. <laughs> they won't say thank you either. You know in Canada, when you let somebody in, or when someone, you know, you always give the thank you wave, either out the window, if you have tinted glass, you wave your hand out the window so they can see you said thank you, and you get offended when people don't say thank you. From what I've seen, no one says thank you. The thank you wave doesn't exist in the US. Not that I've seen it, probably does, but I haven't seen it. No thank you waves, no, no, not very nice. Okay, buddy, you leave that kind of gap in front of you, people are gonna take advantage of that. Let's go. Pip, pip, let's go. Come on. See? See, I told you, people are gonna start cutting you off. We made it to this gas station here. Where are we? Let me check Google's. Google, tell me where we are. We're in Iowa. Dow's Junction. It's called Dow's Junction. And this is where I'll be spending tonight. Two hours to our destination. I could make it there tonight yet, but I'm tired. That's my first full day on the road. I'm tired. Go to bed. We'll be out of here in 10 hours and 15 minutes. About 6.45 in the morning. Thanks for hanging out with me today, listening to me ramble. I make these videos pretty much every day. If you want to see more, go check out my channel. I've got... Ooh, well over 2,000 videos. I got a lot of videos on the internet and I plan on making a lot more yet. So subscribe and don't miss the next one. We'll see you later. See you later, guys. Don't forget to subscribe. Yes, you guys, you guys, subscribe. Hit the button. Do it now. Did they do it? Did they subscribe?